Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to talk about the New York Jets releasing of interior offensive lineman Greg Van Roten. So as you guys saw, I made a video this morning of the brand new players that Joe Douglas brought into the Jets and Nate Herbig off the waiver wire. And little that I know is their plan was to move on from Greg Van Roten while bringing him in. I didn't mention that in the video this morning, and we found out that the New York Jets acquired him on the waiver wire without realizing who they're going to replace him with on the roster that being gvr the new york jets release greg van roden saved three and a half million dollars on the cap which is a really good move in my opinion so before we hop into it i just want to mention if you guys are new to jets media make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you want to check me out over on instagram and twitter that is at nyjets underscore media and if you enjoy the video please do not forget to thumbs it up with that being said let's dive right in so Greg Van Roden has been a player that New York Jets fans have been ready to move on for for quite some time. Now, he does have a great story similar to Jeremy Ruckert. The only thing that's different, he was not drafted by the Jets, but Greg Van Roden did grow up on Long Island like Jeremy Ruckert, and he did grow up a New York Jets fan. So when we initially signed him to be the right guard two off seasons ago, we were like, hey, we got a Long Island Jets fan native. Maybe he could be good, but on the field he just was not simply that great of a football player nothing as gvr as a person i feel like culture wise and a teammate he was a really good person he always was you know good in his interviews always a good teammate around the locker room and an overall good person to have uh but he was just a below average guard and i will always hold a grudge against gvr personally because if you look at what happened to makai beckton in week number one against the carolina panthers a big reason for that injury, Greg Van Roden got absolutely blown up by his um, person that was he was trying to block, and he just got absolutely torched and thrown into Mekhi Becton's leg. Ever since then, I was pissed off at GVR that you made our year two tackle get down with a big time injury. I think that this is a good move because what the New York Jets just did is they replaced Greg Van Roden with a player that's better, a player that's younger, and a player that's more affordable. What else can you ask for from Joe Douglas? They basically got a backup right guard in Gerbig. If you want me, if you want to hear my thoughts about Gerbig as a player, I'll, I'm not going to break him down too much because I literally made a video on him this morning. So I'll leave that down below in the description if you want to check out my thoughts of the brand new player that will be replacing Greg Van Roden on this offensive line. He's simply a guy that's going to be providing depth and replacing GVR on this offensive line. So we all saw Joe Douglas go out there last year and trade for LDT. He was replacing GVR in the middle of the season. So it's obvious that Robert Sala, Mike LaFleur, Benton, the offensive line coach, and Joe Douglas knew that they needed a big-time upgrade at right guard. And what did they do in the offseason? They signed a Pro Bowl guard and Lincoln Tomlinson, who's going to be the left guard, with AVT transitioning to right guard. And then the next move is what happens today. The New York Jets officially move on from GVR, and they bring in a brand new player in Herbig to replace him. So I think this is a great move. Like I said, the three things that Jets fans should realize what they just did with this backup right guard role is they got better, they got younger, younger and it got more affordable what else can you ask for from joe douglas leave it leave a comment down below your thoughts of this move i feel like it was a really good job from joe douglas to make sure that he replaces gbr with a player that's better and he somehow he does it in the waiver wire and remind you guys joe douglas is a waiver wire wizard he acquired Braxton Berrios, John Franklin Myers, Ty Johnson, Quincy Williams, all those players that are now good players on the New York Jets, two of them being extended in John Franklin Myers and Braxton Berrios were all acquired via the waiver wire. And I feel like Herbig has every single opportunity to be the next waiver wire diamond in the rough from Joe Douglas. So leave a comment down below your thoughts of GBR being moved on from. I'm sure that a lot of Jets fans are pumped up to hear about this news. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Like the video if you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Let's go Jets. Peace.